what do we have here? Can anybody uh, read that? Okay, so we have a thermistor here, and this is a 10K thermistor. See where it says 10K? A little bit of solder, everybody has solder. Well, this is rosin cord solder. Any kind of um, little soldering iron, these are cheap, easy, and really adjustable and really fast. So what do we have here? We have five, I had five, one, two, three, four, and the fifth one is inside this Toshiba carrier unit. So you can't even imagine, and we have, and there's another one on the other side, a bigger one. I think that's a eight ton. I think these are five or six ton a piece. What are these? These are, Oh, these are these are 36s. I thought these were fives. Okay, so I guess 36 a piece doesn't matter. Uh, one of these, somebody seemed like they sabotaged and they cut a thermistor out and left it dead. The fan was blowing, but there was no cold, and it took a really long time to set a code. When uh, calling up to get one of, of course it's courier, and so you have proprietary parts at outrageous freaking prices. I even feel guilty to sell for me to purchase this through a courier distributor and mark it up maybe $130 I sold $130 to borrow by the factory uh, little wire and it's just a little wire exactly like this that goes right up here and plugs into the control unit it's a 10k a thermistor that little thermistor on the end of there they're only 15 cents okay that's 15 cents and you add them to the wire I could have bought the individual and soldered it on to the end of the wire or I just bought these. I got five 10K semesters for $9.99 Amazon overnight. They're cheaper if I would have got them on eBay, half the price uh, from China, or I could have paid $10 for five of them. They wanted $130, $130 retail price for this. And this is $9.99 overnight Amazon 10k semester cut cut the wire splice it solder it back up and running these parts are not special there's nothing special about any of the parts that are in here all the electronic the board in here this control board there's only like eight dollars in parts on the whole entire control board you can replace and repair any individual part on the in the motherboard on the control board inside here on any of these units on the motherboard you don't have to buy a whole entire assemblies you can actually buy from digikey or mauser or jamico uh, or online or ebay and do your own repairs and if you have a pattern problem repair you can actually buy upgraded more durable parts that are even better than what the factory for less money than the factory sells them for you just need the knowledge and I was fortunate enough between my father's electronics and electrical training, uh, TV and radio repairs. And in San Francisco, in sixth grade, you had a flu bowling college level electronics class in San Francisco back in my days in schools uh, for the trades. Uh, these are the Mr. Two and I have water submersible the Misters. These look familiar guys. The ones that you attach to pipes uh, you slip into that little groove. Look familiar? You guys in HVAC look familiar? Five bucks for five of them. Wow. No 20 bucks a piece, no 15 bucks a piece, no 100 bucks a piece. And you just put them together yourself. Not rocket science, guys. To do any of the control board modules on the inverters, the variable drive units, on the anything in any unit whether it's LG, uh, Daikin, Samsung, anything like that, you do not have to buy the factory parts. You could repair them yourself. That's all, just a short, short little uh, tidbit of something real simple.